Let's identify institutional buying and selling. Okay, by identifying institutional buying and selling levels, you'll be way ahead of other traders. Okay. Let's see, your price chart clearly shows who is behind a price change, institutions or retail traders. Okay, look for stocks nearing trend change. Let's see. Within six to seven trading days, stock price made a move of more than 40%. Okay. Trend is nearly changed by the institutions. Look at the big move. Big candle size equals big institutional buying and selling pressure. Okay. I'm looking at volumes. Big candles. See, large volume with a sudden price change indicates institutional buying and selling. Yeah, volume. No subscribe. Retail traders. We're all down here. It's like they're using uh, pivot points on the daily. Okay. So really, we may even consider using, let's see, maybe our big bar breakouts. Let's go into our studies here. And we'll throw on our big bar breakout. Go ahead, apply. And let's get rid of those that daily range system as well. And now we can see our big bar breakouts kind of do line up with those big volume spikes. Okay. And let's go in and look at Tesla. And let's check out. Here's a big bar breakout. Here's a big bar breakout. Here's a big bar breakout with increased volume. Okay, so maybe if you would have looked for the pullback and bought in. Here's a big bar breakout, here's a big bar breakout with some volume. Okay, let's go on our daily chart. Yeah, everything's way back here. Okay. Hmm. Check our big bar breakout for the first one. Let's get rid of that. Guess maybe it's not the same. And here's a big bar breakout. Oh, yeah. Very neat. Here's a big bar breakout. And there's a big bar breakout on that doji. Yeah, that's a good buy signal right there. And there's a good buy signal. Of course, here's a big bar breakout. 
So we could probably write some sort of, you know, code or trading with this. You know, get uh, some sort of automated system going here. So yeah, you got your institutional buying, you know, in correlation with your big bar breakouts. All right. So they probably, you know, make sense. Looks like we're having another breakout right now in CVS. So looks like CVS is about to go for a another breakout. Good. Very good. We can see we saw big buying here, big buying here, you know, some big buying or shorting or profit taking here. Yeah. That is your big bar breakout and uh, your institutional buying pressures. So take a look at this if you want to copy it. You know, type it into your own thing script. Make sure you subscribe.